Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to morning prayer. This is Monday, the 26th week in Ordinary Time. Today is also the Feast of the Guardian Angels. Our morning prayer begins on page 698. O Lord, come open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. And as you have bound us to yourself in love, leave us not who call upon your name. But grant us your salvation, made known in the cross of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. They come, God's messengers of love. They come from realms of peace above, from homes of never-fading light, from blissful mansions ever bright. They come to watch around us here, to soothe our sorrow, calm our fear. Ye heavenly guides, speed not away. God willeth you with us to stay. But chiefly at its journey's end, Tis yours, the Spirit, to befriend, and whisper to the faithful heart, O Christian soul, in peace depart. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one, from all above and all below, let joyful praise unceasing flow. Our psalm is Psalm 91. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies by in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras, you will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading is from the Old Testament, Exodus chapter 23. I am sending an angel before you to protect you on your journey and lead you safely to the place I have prepared for you. Pay close attention to him and obey his instructions. Do not rebel against him, for he is my representative, and he will not forget your rebellion. But if you are careful to obey him, following all my instructions, then I will be an enemy to your enemies, and I will oppose those who oppose you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of our ancestors, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed is your holy, glorious name, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holiness, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you beholding the depths and throned upon the cherubim, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the heights of the heavens, praised and exalted above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful, and hear our prayer. By your mighty angels, give courage to all who lead in your church. By your, your mighty angels, give wisdom to the leaders of governments. By your mighty angels, give hope to the poor and defenseless. By your mighty angels, give comfort to those in sorrow and distress. By your mighty angels, give peace to those about to die. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of the heavenly hosts, out of providential love beyond imagining, you send your holy angels to protect us. Have them keep watch over us continually here on earth and bless us with the joy of their fellowship in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day in his peace. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning in prayer, my brothers and sisters. As we live our life today, let's remember that God had Put his holy angels around us. The scripture says they're his servants to minister to those who trust in Jesus. So as believers, we have a mighty host protecting us all throughout the day, all throughout the night, all throughout our life, until that day that we come into glory in our heavenly home. So thank God for his angels this day. Bless the Lord and bless those around you. My brothers and sisters, live this day in peace. Amen.